Hello, Graham. Yes. Oh, uh, hello, Nick. Yes. Hi. Um, has the concept of retirement been abandoned? Ah, this comes as it's reported. I think a young girl born today is going to work until she's about 72, isn't it, or 75, before she retires, if we uh, hear the Os- Mr Osborne statement mm. correctly, Mr Clegg. Graeme, no, of course retirement has not been... In fact, in fact, what we're seeking to do is 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 keep... Um, is is keep the the principle that are you know that around around a third of your adult life is 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 in retirement um and that's in very rough terms been the kind of rule of thumb for quite a long period of time now that you work for a certain number of years but then a, a third of that total period of time that you're working is 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 actually spent in retirement and of course if that's your rule of thumb if that that sense of entitlement that around a third of your of your adult life is spent in retirement is to be retained, then of course it needs to keep up with the fact that people are living longer and longer and longer. And that, of course, clearly means that the point at which you retire shifts. And that's what um, the Chancellor is confirming in the autumn statement today, and or rather has confirmed in, in reports overnight. Um, it's part of, it's part, and I'm not pretending it's a, an easy concept to accept, but it's part of what happens as societies become more affluent, and as and, and as and, and as people become healthier and live much much longer, we need to make sure that the rules on retirement, which were first set decades ago, keep up with with those demographic changes. Graham, um, yes, you, you say as society becomes more affluent and people live longer, uh, that is because since the Second World War, society has become that more affluent, and there have been improvements in the medical service. But we're now going through a period of extended uh, austerity. It's quite possible that living standards and care for people will go down. People will have less money. And there is also an obesity uh, epidemic. Mm. Um, So Mm. it's quite possible that life expectancy will peak, it will plateau, Mm. and then come down. Mm. So people in the future may live uh, less long. So I I understand what you're saying about life expectancy increasing, and therefore there is a need to find a way of funding uh, retirement, but if life expectancy starts to come down, will the government in the future? Uh, well, we can't predict, but in the in the future, will um, that be taken into account? And the retirement age, sure. the, the the qualifying age for the pension, be brought back down? Yeah, yeah. A, a good point, Graham, and that's why um, the whole way these decisions are going to be taken, as as George Osborne will confirm in, a, in an hour or two, is that this is going to be subject to a periodic review, independent of politicians, precisely trying to um, provide the best estimates of what, what you're talking about, which is, which is you know, lifespan and the effect of, of, of general um, variations in well-being on how long we're expected to live. And, and, and so any decision will be taken in view of the best estimates of, of life expectancy. And that's, that's what these periodic reviews will now do from now on.